Hello dear student I am Vikram Deshmukh assistant professor AI SSMS IOIT Pune Welcome to e content section of All India C Shivaji Memorial Society's Institute of Information Technology Pune uh, Today today i am going to cover topic natural resources so uh, in this video uh, as you can see from the concept map we are going to cover different types of natural resources and course outcome for this unit is students should able to identify alternate energy source for engineering practices and unit outcome or topic outcome for today's topic that is natural resources is student can list various natural resources so first what is resources so resources is anything which is useful to man or can be used to produce useful thing is referred as resources example of resources are rock minerals soil river plant and animal then what is natural resources so as name suggest natural resources are that are drawn directly from nature and used without any modifications are called as natural resources an example of natural resources are air water minerals etc now uh, types of natural resources there are five types of natural resources first is forest resources so what is forest resources the generally resources obtained from forest are called as forest resources then what is forest forest is an area with high density of trees together with other plants covering large area of land as we know forest are home to 50 to 90 percent of earth species also forest produces immeasurable innumerable material goods which has commercial values now functions of forest resources there are three types of functions of forest resources productive functions protective functions and regulative functions uh, what are the productive functions uh, forest provide us Uh, various innumerable material which have commercial values like timber bamboo food essential oil latex medicine etc now what are the productive uh, sorry what are the protective functions so protective functions are it conserves soil and water it also help to prevent drought it protects living being from wind cold and radiation it also absorbs noise so controls the noise pollution then regulative functions of forest forest perform various regulative functions in terms of absorption storage and release of gases waters and mineral elements next uh, natural resources is water resource as we know earth is a blue planet because 71% of the earth surface is covered with water and uh, about 97% of total water is from saline that means it is in the form of salt water that is sea water or ocean water the rest of 3% water is fresh water and if you consider fresh water only 1% is pure and usable water why because 
out of 100% fresh water 70% fresh water are in the form of glaciers that means in the form of ice and 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 20% water 29% uh, of water are in the uh, form of ground water and only 1% water present in river and lake which is usable waters. So as we know the only 1% of water is usable water so water is a very precious natural resource. Then here you can see the figure which shows the water uh, percentage of water on the earth surface then importance of water so water is an essential natural resource for sustaining life without water we are not able to sustain in our life so water is one of the most important substance on earth if there is no water there would be no life on earth all plants, animals, that is living being, flora and fauna must have water to survive. Water is renewable but limiting resource. So this is the most important sentence. Water, though it is renewable, but it is limiting resource. Now, uses of water. Uh, water has many uses. Apart from drinking water, it has agriculture use. For agriculture, it is used as an irrigation, used for irrigation. In industrial, water is used as solvent, coolant, heating agent. In household, it is used for washing clothes, utensils, baths, etc. And last is a recreational use. The example of recreation use is water park. As we know, we enjoy lot in water park. So water park is the recreational use of water resource. Then third type of natural resource is land resource. Land is among the most important natural resource and it covers up only 29% of the earth's surface. So if you consider the earth surface, only 29% surface is covered with earth and another sur uh, remaining surface is covered with the water. So land is naturally occurring finite resource. Why it is finite? Because soil has only 29%. It provides the base for survival of living being. It holds everything that constitutes terrestrial ecosystem. Terrestrial ecosystem means the living being living on terrain, that is on the surface of earth. Then, uses of land resource. First use of land resource is agriculture land the agriculture land is typically devoted to agriculture and it is a land which is which is capable of being plogged and used to grow crops second land resource use is habitat for animals and plants forest is a habitat for many plants animal because it provides sustainable environment for them Third use of land resource. Third use of land resource are industrial and commercial area. Commercial area generally reserved for business like office, retail stores, restaurants, etc. are based on land resource. Next use is the residential area. Residential area means a land used as permanent residence such as house, apartment, nursing, home, school, child care facility. Fifth use is waste disposal area which is also called as a landfills. Proper solid waste collection and disposal is important for protection of 
पब्लिक हेल्थ सेफ्टी ऑफ पब्लिक हेल्थ एनवायरमेंटल क्वालिटी सो वेस्ट इज डिस्पोज्ड ऑन सैनिटरी लैंड्स व्हिच इज अवे फ्रॉम सिटी इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिवेंट पब्लिक हेल्थ सेफ्टी एंड एनवायरमेंटल क्वालिटी नेक्स्ट यूज ऑफ लैंड इज मिनरल रिसोर्सेस एज वी नो मिनरल रिसोर्सेस आर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट बेनिफिट्स ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम लैंड एज इट एक्सलेट इंडस्ट्रियल इकोनॉमिक development of country without mineral resources it is not possible to industry sir industry to survive and uh, do economic development of country next mineral resources so what is mineral resources mineral resources are the resources which is occurring naturally which are uh, inorganic in the form of crystalline solid with characteristic properties and it is exhaustible so mineral resources are very precious and we have to use it for uh, use it very carefully in order to keep it for future generation so we need to consume what we require to live now and living behind sufficient amount of mineral resource for future generation to for sustainable development net types of mineral resources first metallic res mineral resources for example bauxite hematite iron copper silver gold etc we derive different metals from these minerals next non metallic minerals for example coals limestone marble granite sand stone salt phosphate these are the non metallic minerals and it is used for various industrial purposes now we use of minerals minerals are used for development of industrial plants and machinery it is also used for generation of energy and for generation of energy we use coal lignite uranium and coal is also called as a black diamond because from the coal major of the majority of the energy is produces minerals are also used for construction housing and settlement minerals are also used to produce defense equipment weapons and ornaments minerals are also used for communication purpose to prepare telephone wires cables electronics devices and last use is very interesting use that is to prepare jewelry for example gold silver platinum diamond jewelries are also prepared from mineral resources last in a last natural resources is energy resources the substance from which we produce energy are known as energy resources we need energy for our day to day life the energy are used are has two broad categories renewable energy renewable energy means these energy sources are continuously replenished at constant rate that means it can be reproduced at constant rate second non renewable energy the sources of energy are known as fossil fuels and these took billions of years to form and cannot be regenerated in matters of year so renew types of renewable sources solar power hydro power wind energy tidal energy geothermal energy biogas energy then non renewable energy sources these are coal petroleum and natural gases now the question arises why to study natural resources what is significance of natural resources the knowledge of resources knowledge of natural resources is very essential to understand its application global needs and future demands 
once you understand the importance of natural resources you will understand the need of its conservation so following images so say no to exploitation and say yes to conservations these are the some references that can be, that can be used for further reading and now summary of today's lecture we have studied different types of natural resources for uh, first forest resources water resources land resources mineral resources energy resources now thank you all have a nice day happy learning let us stop here but let's learning continue thank you